Well, hello, Shelly Rocks here. Welcome to Voxel Tycoon. So I thought I'd do another little video on this because I've been playing it a little bit more. Got some really good uh, tips from uh, somebody on the comments. So thank you very much to, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Bu Buhamut Lot D. So left some really awesome uh, tips. And it made me it made, it made it clear up a little a uh, few little things about the game to me, which I didn't really think the, the, the tutorial covered that much. So, gonna go ahead and carry on with the um, the save that we did in the last episode, and try and get a bit of positive income coming in because that's the thing we're struggling with at the moment. It's trying to it's, it's kind of a struggle to get a positive income right at the start of this game we've only really set up a few routes we've got a coal mine that's going we've got what else do we have going we had logs being transported yeah so we've got a logging camp down here and that's going from here to Hempstead and then we've got a coal mine all the way over here and we've got coal that's coming from Walla Walla West to Walla Walla Southwest. Sounds like it's in Australia. And also to Sheffield. So a couple of the uh, good little tips that were in the comments below. I've, I've actually pinned them because I think they were really uh, useful. Things I didn't realize. Like when I'm building uh, like a new mining uh, area. So say I'm building this wood thing over here. The sawmill. And I know there's a certain sector where I can build stuff. Now, I didn't realize that you could, you only need to be touching on one of the sectors. So I'm used to playing games where you've got like a pile of resources and you have like a sweet sort of enriched or fertile area where you stick it in a certain area. But you just need to stick it in a certain area, touching at least one spot. So with stuff like this, I could have put them a lot, a lot higher up. Uh, I did put it there anyway, so... That is quite near the edge because the boundary is, you can't quite see it on there. I think you can probably see it better on another resource I've not actually exploited. Like say for this iron one. So if I go to place the iron one. Yeah, you can, you can just about make it out there. There's like a little tiny little brown tag there. So I could put it there or I could even stick it like right down near the edge of the road. So that was a good little tip. Um, there's also about the the garages, the fact that you can just copy the recipes in here. So you can just go in here, and I think it's the actual... Oh, no, it's the garage we need to go into. Yeah, so if you click that copy, and then you go and click on any unit in the game, if I click that, it copies the cart and the route, which <laughs> such, that is such a time saver. I think it might have vaguely mentioned that in a, spl in a splash screen, but not enough that made me uh, re you know, realise, hey, that's what you do. So, that's enough for the tips. Now, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll cover the rest of them if anyone else is interested, but uh, I have pinned the tips to the last video, so if you, do, if you are interested in that, go and click it. So, at the moment, I have got a bit of an income coming in. Um, <laughs> not a huge amount. We've got six thousand... Um, pounds a month coming in in uh trading with the trucks so i think i've literally got how many vehicles have i actually got at the moment let me just click off that click off that i want to see logistically how many things i've got so can i just click on the, the garage and see it says i've got six vehicles serviced I think I've got two routes to this one. I've got car three and car one. So that makes sense. So that's like car three and car one going to those two. So I need more money. Now, I'd like to get an eye in mind because what I didn't realize in this game, which is important, is supply of businesses. Now, we'll talk about that because um, uh, Buamut mentioned that in the comments. So you got a business here. And if you click on it, you can see its needs. So... This uh, demand, if you click on the little question mark there, this is a monthly consumption. So in a month, it will consume 110 units and it's got 180. Now, the thing is, if you don't feed the beast, as it were, if you don't keep giving these resources, eventually these businesses are going to go out of business. So I need to get 
a few things built. So I don't think we can afford it at the moment. I need to do a well, I need to do an iron mine. Oh, so we could do that. Yes. Right, so I need an iron mine. So I'll do that over here. We'll just set this logistics up. We'll do it right near the edge as well, just because... Well, I was going to say because we can. We don't need it to be near the edge, do we? We can just stick it like, like there. And to service that, we are going to need to do some road infrastructure. So let's do a station, freight station. Now... This needs to be the, uh, the the curse around here. I didn't really understand that in the last video. That's got to include the building you're picking up from. But as we're only picking up from this one thing, I don't think that really matters. Uh, however, what I want to do is, let's see. So the truck's going to go from there. Hmm. We just want to put it as close to this as we can so it travels less, I think. And another little tip I've noticed, and I've not seen anyone mention this, it's what I found during playing it. So the truck's going to come here and it's going to pick up the um, iron ore and then it's going to deliver it over there. So if it comes here, I know some, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it, but I know sometimes you need to do like a little... Um, a little bit in the road, like a little turning circle point, like these bits, because otherwise they sort of struggle getting in and going back. We should be okay though, but we do need to do a garage and we need to get a new car, or a new vehicle, and we need one that can carry copper. So a copper one is this one. Iron ore, well, iron ore, I keep calling it copper. So we click on that, we click on buy, and then I come and click on this bit, and I start adding the route. So first route, we are gonna click on this bit, and we are gonna say, load all cargo. And then we add another route, and we stick it over here. Oh, no, 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 we need to do an end zone. I've not done a, a delivery point. Now, this is the trouble with this game, you can, drop off to any of these points but i've got two businesses here so when i planned this building here i should have planned it a bit better i should have done um one freight station to rule them all i don't know if i look at this that would have been perfect oh it's going to be better to have one there isn't it rather than have two individual buildings right we'll, we'll try and work with this i don't know if this is going to work right so we're going to add another stop onto this and you're going to drop it at that one and unload and we're going to save this as uh iron root I, I, i'm just going to call it iron root doesn't need to be anything fancy and if we click that now that is going to call come all the way from over here see it's going to come from here He's going to go and get some um, iron ore there. Actually, we'll we'll watch this quickly because I want to see... He should be able to just go in here and load up. Oh, now you see what I mean about the uh, things? Now, that is not good. Now, why is he going? Where is he going to go? He's going all the way up here first. Oh, <laughs> that way to turn around. I'm a bit worried he's not going to be able to turn around properly. Once he's on the route, he might be okay. Let's let's check it out. No, he's not. He's, he's, he's going to get stuck. So, how am I going to turn this around a little bit? Can I just do the road? Can you turn around this side of the road and go the other way? Because that's what I believe I've done over here. I've done a little, a little turnaround zone there. Well, let's see if we can do this. All right, let's let's see if that works. I don't even know if that's even going to work. Let's see. Oh, it did! It did work. If only we had that first, that would have uh, solved all my problems. Right, so he's on the way to do that route now. I, knew, I do need more money, though, so what I'm going to do is 
I'm gonna, I need to, I've got too much income coming from these two other ones now. So we're gonna have a uh, building maintenance on, on that one and that one. But the trouble is, this one has got roots. So it has got, it's got car two and car four. But I think I could alter both those routes. If I come in here and click on that one. So this is car two. Now, if I... Let me just move this over here so we can see. So we need to edit the route. So if we click this and we... Hempstead Northeast, Northeast, we need to add a stop. Click on that. Do unload, and then we should be able to delete that. And let's see if we can. We'll we'll okay and change the other car's route now. Oh, I think it's messed up. It might not have messed it up. So what iron route and individual route? The route on this one's different now. This this should be the proper route. Hempstead West to Hempstead south yeah that's right i think i probably need to change the route because you can do the individual routes here you can do save as and it saves them so oh wait a minute yeah yeah yeah. this is right though this is this is the wood route isn't it so this is wood to hempstead uh south so we'll save that i've only got one wood truck going um what was the other one then I think the other one is it can't be coal. What what's the other thing coming in here then? It's another wood route, isn't it? Right, let's change this then. And change it to the wood route. Okay. So now I shouldn't have anything coming here. And we can uh demolish that building. Might have to unpause it maybe. Uh, do you want to delete it? Yes, I do. Okay, now the cool thing about this game, which I didn't realise from initially playing it, is that stuff does actually start levelling up as you're doing it. So the, t the towns do start getting bigger the more you, like, uh, play. Now, the thing I'm interested in doing now is I want to do more coal routes. So, because this at the moment, this one's getting coal. It wants 200 coal a month, and it's getting... You can hover over this, see how much a day. It consumes four items from storage every day. See, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Each, each of my trucks delivers um, five units. So, so this is February the 27th. It's the 1st. All right, I reckon we're going to need two trucks. That's take. That's probably going to take them more than a day to get there. We need to sort this out as well. The turning circle on this. I just said to you about turning circles. They can't unload the coal uh, because it's there. <laughs> so they've got this big long road to come up. And then they have to turn around. So I could do a little... Can we do a little cut off here? Let's see. Oh, we can't build there. Oh come on, let, let me let me build there. I could do it there. It's not perfect, but it, it means it's gonna be quicker to turn around. Right, let's come back over here. Click on garage. Click on copy. Now I'm down to 97,000 at the moment, so I'm gonna copy that car route. And also the other Where's he gone? There's another one delivering coal. This one. We'll copy him as well. So we'll copy that one. Hopefully, that's going to be enough. So we've got we've got all the major components getting delivered now. So we've got wood getting delivered over here. We've got the iron ore getting delivered. We've got the coal getting delivered. We should start seeing these growing a little bit. So that's on 164 at Hempstead. You're on 257. 
Interestingly enough, where are you going? Well, that one's unloading. I think it's about 800 and something dollars to unload. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're not unloading. Oh, wait a minute. This says accepts um, iron ore, but it's not accepting the other stuff. Why is it not accepting? Oh, look at this. It's not in range on that bit. So in order to get in range of both of these. Oh, I can't <laughs> I can't quite do it. It just means it means me uh, my wood's not getting delivered at the moment. Now the only thing that's gonna be getting delivered in here is the uh the iron route, which isn't really what I wanted, so <laughs> we're gonna have to build this again. Uh such a shame that we can't get that touching both of them though it's like one square away i mean we could have we could have maybe built it there and then again the, the buildings are not gonna let me build it there are they right well let's not build it quite as far up as we did last time then i think we're gonna have to build it back down here but how much is that Forty-eight thousand. Ugh. We're going to be a little bit poor now. Okay, we've built it up again. I need to go back and find my trucks now and change the routes. So this one here, let's edit that. And Hampstead and South is wrong. It should be Hampstead North East. So we will delete that bit. We'll click on that and click on unload. Click on OK. So that's Hampstead West to, to Hampstead Northeast. That is good. And we've got two on the route. And we can unpause it. Wow. Can't believe I completely messed that up now. Right, we're, down, we're down to 9,000K 9, now. Uh, excuse me, where are you going? Is that going to turn around in that bit? Why? Why would you, why would you go... Why would you go all that way? <laughs> it's going... <laughs> I'm sure they're doing this to try and trick me. It's going all the way down there again. Right, come on. Go the right way. Come on, make me money. Make me money. All right. Okay, finally, it's it's unloading now. All that for 700, 740. Okay, so at least they're getting stock now anyway. So we're getting we're getting regular stock for the uh, iron ore. Although that does need how much does that need a day? Four a day. Do you know what? Oh, I wanna build another truck. I think I need um about another ten K though. We're gonna have to wait till we uh Get a few more runs in. My money's going up slowly. It's a weird thing, the um, the money, because we're getting taxed for the vehicles we bought. We're getting 10K a month in now. It's going to be a while till we are uh, profitable. I'm almost tempted to borrow another 20 grand from the bank. <laughs> we've, got, we've got a current loan of 600,000 out at the moment. Uh, I'm just tempted to... Uh, Get a little bit more. Right, let's get another 20k out. And we are going to add... We're going to copy some of these routes. So that's the uh, iron one, I think. No, this is that the iron one? Yeah, we'll get another one of those. We've got two on the wood. I think we've got two on that route and two on the other route. So these, these should be getting enough uh, resources now. So check it out. These are a bit more money. These are about a thousand. Yeah, one thousand one hundred and twenty. So that's a little bit better. We should start seeing another truck coming along in a second. So you're gonna load up, get back the other way. Right, where's the other truck? Okay. 
definitely got another truck somewhere. There's the first one. Where is the second one then? Oh, here we go. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. We didn't click the um we didn't click <laughs> the start thing, did we? Right, we need to get that going. There we go. How not to run a sim. You go and uh you're going to go all the way around, aren't you, like an idiot? Right. We ain't got time for idiots today. It's bad enough with me doing these videos. So let's do... I don't want, I don't want a massive big road. I just want a little... No, 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 no. I just want to do a little a little bit. There you go. Go and turn around in your little turning spot. Go and get, get the good stuff, and then go the other way. You as well. Good stuff, other way. Right, hopefully this is the start of a glorious new industry. So you're going to unload, come round, and off you go. Now these are all getting supplied with what they need now, so this should be good enough to uh, grow, hopefully, for them. Well, let's check this out now. So how's this one doing? This one's getting the coal. Eight hundred and sixty. Nice. That one turns around in the in the thing there though, which is a little bit weird. See, that's interesting. Look at this one here, right? This is going from Walla Walla West, which is here, to Sheffield West, and it's travelling on that side of the road. So why can that not go in there? Wait a minute, I'm confused. The other truck went in here, didn't it? I'm pretty sure it did. We need to do a better turning point for this one. So, do I just need to put the turning point... ...on that side of the road? Because that's where you're loading up the coal. And do I just need to do the turning point here? But you're on that side of the road. Oh, I'm so confused. I think the turning point needs to be here. Can't build here. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Why have I just built a random bit of road there? That is just not what we wanted. I'm trying to do a little turning point here. It won't let me do it. Is it too close to the edge? I mean, it's got to be it's got to be near here, but not directly in front of it. I think because yeah, it doesn't like building it there. Okay, if you're gonna be like that, if you're gonna play them games, do it there. That should work. That will work. That might work. We'll get that delicious coal. Off you go. Off you pop. Right, we're on 20 grand now. Whoa, look at this. We're in positive. We're in positive income. Finally, we are in positive income. Oh, what a journey it's been. We might not go bankrupt now. So it's going to be interesting to see these grow as well. Okay, what's this? Demand decreased. Business has difficulties with the supply. Sheffield now accepts less coal. What? Is that because I've been providing the, the coal too slow for them? Maybe. Right, how much do they need a day now? Three a day. Well, that doesn't sound really good, does it? How's that going to affect me? Well, we're still in the positive for that. Still collecting my wood. You keep providing that. I'm hoping... Let's get Hempstead up. So, look at this. Weird. We've got an upgrade to the town. 190. But now it says... Oh, business has difficulty with supply. Salt Lake City. Wait a minute. I'm not actually supplying Salt Lake City. <gasps> Ooh. Is that something I should do? Should I be supplying that? I'm not doing currently. 
Anyway, I'll have to think about that for the next video because there's no way I can build a road. Let's just, for, for the giggles, see how much it's going to cost. Yeah, that's like, it's like 30 grand just for that piece. Oh, I think maybe I should be supplying them stuff though. So I'm going to pause that there for now and go, and that's it for now. So this has been Voxel Tycoon. We are trying to get a little logistics sorted. We're trying to make a little bit of money. Hopefully we're in the positive. If we get enough of a buffer of money to at least build a road and get Salt Lake City connected, we might be able to expand further. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And also thank you again to Bohemut Lot Debt for the tips. If anyone's got any comments or anything you'd like me to uh, you know, do with the layout of the towns on this or profitable, because I'm interested in things like the I've not done any um transporting people yet. I don't have to do to do that next, or if I should concentrate on my resources. Anyway, that is it for now. This has been Voxel Tycoon. Don't forget to ring a ding my bell. S Stick a finger on that thumbs up button and drop me a sub. See you next time.